This exhibition, Housing Unlocked, is a partnership between the Irish Architecture Foundation and the Housing Agency. And the IEF is an organisation which really wants to um, communicate the value of architecture to the public. And this subject matter, which is housing, is crucially important to everybody. It's very exciting. It's a visual exhibition. I suppose the most important part of this, though, is the public engagement with the exhibits themselves. These are good ideas through the comments that we get from the public, you know, that will help, you know, the, the architects to refine these ideas. We can bring them out of this exhibition and into the real world to create housing that's so needed in our communities and bring those vacant properties that people see in their towns and villages um, back into use for not just for housing purposes, but for community spaces and so on. So our project is called Building Societies. And it, the spark for the idea really was reading an article. Um, it said that 103 regional banks were being closed all across Ireland. And I guess that got us thinking about the significance of these buildings in terms of regional high streets. The kind of morphology of Irish towns is it's very kind of linear. It's about a high street. There's lots of potential behind the high street, but it's all, it's blocked by buildings. It's blocked by kind of ownership constraints. Whereas we're opening the ground floor of this banking hall, we're unlocking that route into the backlands, which unlocks all of these sites for housing opportunities and kind of play and wild nature and all these things. So the project uh, is entitled The Working Home and it explores how vacant shops can be used for residential accommodation. So we were interested in how we could entice people to move back into towns and cities um, where there are over 9,000 vacant shops nationally. The project gets its name from 33 churches which the Archdiocese of Dublin identified as having the potential to deliver housing. So the project basically is trying to incorporate housing into these buildings but also maintaining the worship space at the same time, so yeah, using the same space twice. Our project is called Start Spreading the Muse, so it's all about muse development and the potential for that. What we'd like to do is make it much easier to build a muse development as long as you have access to an appropriate laneway and your garden is a long enough length, you will have uh, permission to build one of these houses without having to apply for planning permission. So in essence what we're trying to do is by utilising modern methods of construction is come up with, you know, one kind of ideal module size component which is 3D modular that can come off the back of a truck from factory built conditions and that's craned into site and, and assembled and then through the replication or repetition of that module you, we can generate uh, multiple configurations and sizes of houses anything starting from one bed up to a two, three and a four bedroom um, house. So what we've done is we've taken um, five different, uh, let's call them sites, but they each have a different proposal. So we have uh, one that is about living over the shop, we have one that's about a live-work unit, we have a backlands development, we have got also uh, an infill development which is taking on a kind, of a, a kind of a clear vacant site within the centre of the town. And then what we've also done is reinstated the, uh, the, the market hall. I suppose the core idea is it's a cluster of four houses together, each with gardens facing in different directions. There's four sections to it. One is what the whole thing looks like, what it might feel like to live there. And then there's three other sections. One, how that fits into kind of a construction logic, how it fits into the kind of current planning and legislative system. The third one is the finances of it and the relationship between mortgages, renting, and this system called MHOS, Mutual Home Ownership Society, which is somewhere between buying and renting, uh, in that, in effect, you're renting from an organisation that you are a part of. These eight shortlisted exhibits are ideas which are intended to provoke conversation. So it's only the first part of the exhibition. The second part of the exhibition is the public programme, which takes place in this room. And the public are invited to come in here through a, a programme of events and engagement for all age groups. And you need to check out the Housing Unlocked website for that, to come in here and to participate in this conversation. So come back <laughs> to me in 10 weeks time and I'll tell you what we've achieved.